Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my training episodes. So, as I kind of mentioned at the end of the last video, what I'm going to plan to do now is I'm going to run two parallel saves with the same starting now. I'm going to lay, lay up my training routines as I showed in the last video, then go on holiday until the end of the season, let it run, and then I'm going to also leave everyone in general and do the same thing, go on holiday at the end of the season and then we'll come back and we'll have a look, see how much difference it's made to the players' attributes and even just to the performance, just out of interest. And then we'll go in and closely look, compare a couple of players from their versions with and without the training routines, see how, see what see what's happened. So uh, let's, uh, let's do that now, let's jump to the future. So here we are on the 1st of June. Uh, this is with, with my training. As you can see, despite being on holiday for the whole season, I've won Manager of the Year. We finished fourth in the league, but missed out on the playoffs. So a pretty good season overall. I don't know, we can't really tell anything without contrasting. Let's just quickly jump to the other one and see how they did in the league. And then we'll look closer to, at, the, at the players. We'll go into the training schedules. Now we can see there's been some good improvement, but on its own doesn't really show us anything. We left the goalies alone. Okay, let's see. Right, so in general, we finished eighth in the league. There was no manager of the year award for me. By the way, just to be clear, what I did was at the start of the game, I picked this team with this formation, hit go on holiday. Oh, got to come out of training, I think. Hit go on holiday. Don't buy any players, reject all offers, leave, use the tactic and use the same players where possible. So they should have been playing around the same games, barring injuries and things like that. So the improvement shouldn't be down to having been played a load. I've put the players into these categories, but that's purely so I can... Uh, it's easier to compare them. Everyone was in general for the whole season. And you can see I've left this as general anyway. So you see straight away there's quite a lot less green than... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Mark Bertram's improved massively. More than I think the wingers have done well. So let's go. I'm going to now stick them next to each other on the screen and we'll see exactly what's going on. Starting with my fullbacks, as you can see, other than Alan Dunn, who nothing's really happened either way, there does seem to be a big difference between general and uh, my tactic. My tactic, my training schedule is here at the top. The players just left in general are down at the bottom. Unfortunately, I can't click in because there's no way to get them next to each other. Well, there might be a way, but I don't know it. But like the one who seems to have made the most difference to is Robbie Ryan. See, he's gone from having Marking of no, markings both gone up to 17, but nearly everywhere else it's gone up kind of one more tick by being in specialist training than he had just being left alone. His acceleration's gone up by one, heading, jumping, pace, positioning stayed the same, stamina, strength, and tackling all gone up by one. All key defensive stats. Uh, Matt Lawrence also seems to have come on a long way. His marking gone up by a whole three points when compared to just being left alone in uh, in general training. Moving on to the centre backs, again you can see it's a sea of green along the top, whereas there's just uh, sporadic green along the uh, middle. Sean Dice seems to have improved almost exactly the same, no matter what you've done. But everywhere else, Joe Dolan in particular has a uh, markedly better he's gone up by two compared to general in almost every uh, situ situation and Joe Donald was injured for four months of the season in uh, the save with my training so it really seems to have appealed to him but pretty clear overall if you just look glance at the stats it's been a useful useful uh, use of our time to just make the little training tweaks Okay, we're moving on to the defensive midfield position. This is a bit of a weird one. 
as you can see, Ronnie Ball's absolutely loved my training and hated general for some reason as well. His stats have all dipped away. Like the stamina is 13 compared to 5, which is a huge difference. But then Mark Bircham has absolutely loved general and my training routine has not done too much for him. He's not lost anywhere, but like he's become a world beater. I'm not sure. I think maybe after seeing Sean Dice as well, maybe the older players are happier in general, whereas younger players who are more malleable, they'll learn the key stats quicker. But not sure. Interesting anyway. Okay, so before we were looking at the tab uh, defensive attributes, we're now looking at attacking attributes. So let's see what difference it's made here. Straight away, just at a glance, you can see there's a lot more green. The only where, the only problem with my training seems to be off, which I've discovered means off the ball. That's dropped down across the board or stayed the same, whereas it's improved the players in general. But everywhere else, uh, Paul Eiffel stands out as improving quite nicely. As does Kit Tim Cahill. Maybe that needs tweaking off the ball. I think is under tactics. They only have low tactics in this routine. Maybe something needs to be tweaked, but again, you can see the finishing and long shots have improved much more in my training than in the training just general, which for an attacking midfield is quite useful. Set pieces also slightly better across the board with me. Okay, let's compare the wings. Notice straight away, attacking, the stats haven't shot up as much, as well as it did for defence. So maybe there's something that needs to be worked on with these attacking routines. But again, if we're looking at long shots, general seems to be a little bit better there. And finishing. But the crossing, the dribbling, the passing and the set pieces are a lot better for me as the winger. I think if you remember, I only had medium shooting training for the winger as they're out wide. So where we've tried to tweak them, they've improved a lot. Stephen Reid looks to have done quite well. Looking at the strikers, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Overall, my training at the top does seem to have more green. And uh, well, let's focus in on Cherno because he's probably the most big name. Cherno is the only one who, to my training, doesn't seem to have helped as much as the other guys. His finishing is up by one more, and his long shots are up by one more compared to uh, the general, which are the stats we were really focusing in on as a striker. But if you look at the next three lines, off the ball has dropped down significantly, his passing's not improved much, and his set pieces have gone up by two more in general than against mine, which I'm surprised about because we do have intensive... Uh, skills training for this and everyone else's set pieces has gone up more but Braniff's gone up 5 com uh, is at 6 compared to 5 so Claridge is 7 compared to 6 9 compared to 8 etc but for some reason it's not quite clicked with Samba uh, not sure on the reason for that but disappointing but I still think overall Samba's the outlier and uh the strikers have enjoyed their training routine. Alright, so we've looked at just a kind of general picture of how players have improved and we focused in on one or two on their key stats. So I thought I'd just show you all the stats of uh, one player just to give a picture of how different it kind of looks on the on the actual screen. Read again, on the top is my training, on the bottom is the general. Stephen Reed was in the winger training program, which was focusing on uh, skills and fitness mainly, as a uh, getting up and down and the skill of crossing. First thing I notice is the pace and acceleration, based on on my training, has gone up by two ticks, which is quite impressive. Again, if you're on that right column, where the 19s and 20s in the general for stamina strength technique teamwork uh, 19s and 18s sorry on the, on the bottom it's all 20s on the top with me 
other than that, it's just a few small improvements here and there. But uh, pretty conclusive. If you're looking at Stephen Reed, has gone from yeah, he's pretty good on the bottom, but a sea of twenties on the top. So yeah, I think that's it. I'm not going to go in and show you too many more players. You've seen, you can see what I've been trying to show. Uh, for me, it's proven my point. Well, not proven my point. All I'm trying to show you is training does make a real difference. If you don't have the time to do it and you just want to whiz through, that's fine. It's not going to ruin a game. But if you're into a game where you want to, you know, develop young players, and that's the sign of sign of the game that you're into, then uh, maybe give these training routines a try or give your own. Thanks for watching. Comment below if you have your own training schedules you like to do. I'd like to see them. Uh, and thanks for watching. Cheers.